Hey everyone, it's Austin from Ante Kati, back with another video. It's obviously been a year since, or more than a year since the last time I had a video on the channel, but you know what? I'm still here, still part of Ante Kati as always. Obviously, recently, Gary Bettman, commissioner of the NHL, laid out they're going forward with the 24 playoff format plan to bring back the NHL in the near future, uh, based on obviously a couple of days ago with the plan of uh, the voting between the NHL Players Association. 29 teams voted yes, two teams voted against it and said no. And one of those two teams was the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hearing that as a fan, it kind of made me a little upset and a little, you know, confused and disappointed and just wanted to know, you know, basically what was the big reasoning behind this, why they were one of the two teams that were against this. Did a little research today and uh, looked at an article. This is what the video is going to be for. I'm going to give a little uh, brief summary from the article that I read. The uh, editor is from the Tampa Bay Times, Don Romano, and he basically started the article saying that the lightning just sound and seem too sensitive to this whole thing. And I really completely agree. They're mostly contemplating things and calculating things, fretting about this whole thing, instead of just, in his own words, John Romano saying that instead of them just wanting to kick down the door and accept this fight and the challenge, because this is a whole new challenge that this is bringing to not only the Lightning, but all the other teams in this playoff format. I wanted to look up also to the players that represent the NHL Players Association for the two teams that said no. So with the Hurricanes, the representative is Jordan Martinook, and their alternate representative is Jake Gardner. And then for the Tampa Bay Lightning, their representative is, ironically, because he's been in the news lately because of his Doc Talk series with the shirts and merchandise and all over social media, Alex Kalorn. And their alternate representative is Tyler Johnson. They basically stated that they were worried about a buy, this buy system that would not properly prepare them for the rigors of postseason hockey as those that are in the 5-12 to 12 seeding in the play-in round. No matter what, the Lightning should be, in my opinion, whether you agree with me or not, the most prepared team out of any team they should already be prepared since the day that they got swept by Columbus. Since that very moment that the game four was over, they should feel prepared for anything and motivated more than ever for this playoff potentially happening in a couple of months. It's been a, over a year, 400 days, he says in the article, since this happened. It's crazy that it's already that long ago. This just seems like what the Lightning are looking for another excuse or something. Yet when you clinch the playoffs, a lot earlier and it makes maybe games at the end of the season more meaningless maybe or not important and it's like you can say that that was the the reasoning for your lack of being sharp i feel like that's just something that they shouldn't worry about but yet they're worrying about it again if there was going to be a return to the nhl it wasn't going to be a perfect plan sports and business just in general in life nothing is ever perfect and plans and decisions are never perfect to restart the season isn't part of a perfect solution or any good solution. Expanding the playoff field and giving the bubble teams, not only the teams that are a bubble team that are maybe tied with a wild card spot or a couple of points or even more than a couple of points but out of a playoff spot, but are still in that bubble are given a chance and it's almost equal type of solution. I say almost, it's not completely equitable, but almost. Even the teams that aren't gonna be part of the playoffs the seven teams that you already know, the three Californias, Ottawa, Detroit, Buffalo, New Jersey, they all voted for this. So it's just like, I, I don't understand why the Lightning are not accepting this. Alex Kalorn made it clear that the Lightning players, he said, and I know about this already from Twitter and stuff, that they are eager to come back on the ice and they want to play hockey. They don't want to not play hockey. But basically this perceived, in their words, competitive imbalance is what they have a problem with. And it just... I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense because Kalorn then brings up that he spoke to Joe Smith, who also writes for the Tampa Bay Times as well, and actually is also part of The Athletic. Him and among the Tampa Bay players all discussed that there are you know, two sticking points where the expanding field of 24 teams and the buy system were their main reasons that they voted against this. And in his own words, Alex Kalorn says they didn't feel it was fair that certain teams that probably wouldn't have made the playoffs would have a chance to make them in a best of five series. He goes on to say, my team also felt it was unfair that the teams with the bye would not be as well prepared for a playoff series as the teams that had already basically played a playoff series to get into the playoffs. And right away when I'm reading that quote, the four teams in the East and the West that are the top teams points percentage wise, because that's what they're going with with the top 12 teams based on points percentage, 
even though you're not playing a play-in round for best of five series to just get into the first round, you're playing in a round-robin series with the other top three teams, that still is kind of like playoff atmosphere. Tampa Bay played their last game before the pause happened, the Toronto Maple Leafs, another highly offensive, powerful team just like they are, and the game score final was 2-1. to one. They lost. They like playoff games to prepare for April. And they played the Bruins a week before that, and it led to a line brawl. It was really physical, and those two teams obviously hate each other, but still, that kind of felt like a playoff game. So playing these games against Philadelphia, Washington, Boston, they're doing the best they can to make sure that this is as fair to them as the teams that are playing right away to just make the playoffs. The teams that are in the bye are going to get a chance to ease their way back into the action playing the top teams in the their respective conference lead to some reseeding for them for the first round to be determined later. But still, ignoring all that aside, you're still playing hockey that's high competitive action. Yes, it's without fans, but it's still going to be highly competitive. So ignore last year. It's just concerning me. The Lightning's reaction to this whole plan is more concerning than this whole plan to return to the NHL in general. I just want hockey back. Ignore last year, the Lightning lost to a more aggressive and bold opponent. Stop trying to like revisit old plot lines or stories. You got run out of you know the playoffs and immediately got you know eliminated and swept. Yes, that is true. You're too good to be complaining about these kinds of issues. It's silly, but not only silly, I think this is childish and humorous, ridiculous. You know, you have a goaltender in Vasilevsky who is a Vezina winner. You have a defenseman in De uh, Victor Hedman who is a Norris Trophy winner. And you have Kucherov who has won multiple awards last year. And him and a couple of others are potential future Hall of Famers maybe. And you have John Cooper and an amazing head coach that has been on the team for seven years with an amazing winning record. And since the 2012-2013 season, they've won more games in the regular season than any other uh, team in the National Hockey League. Yes, regular season and playoffs are totally different. I understand that. Just because of what you did in the regular season doesn't matter. The playoffs are a whole different animal. This goes back to a question that's kind of been debated for the last couple of years. Are the Lightning just not built for the postseason? Maybe they're not. I want to believe that they are built and they are capable of winning in the playoffs and can win a Stanley Cup. I mean, Stamkos is going to be able to play. He wouldn't have been available for the reverse round. Potentially, it was going to be against the Maple Leafs. And not only him, but every other team that's going to be part of this format is going to have a healthy roster. So most of this core team is still intact. Yes, there are some players from their cup run in 2015 and their recent playoff runs, 16, 2018, are not there anymore. But still, you got Ryan McDonough, you got uh, from a trade a couple of years ago, who has so much playoff experience, was in the Stanley Cup final a year before you went to the finals and lost. He's got so much playoff experience. He's a great defenseman. And just our whole entire roster, our forwards, our depth group, our depth defenseman, our goaltending, even our backup goalie, McElhenney, has playoff experience recently as well with the Hurricanes last year. All of that combined is just a lot of positivity. And instead, there's so much negativity with the Lightning right now that I just don't understand. John Romano saying that the Lightning just need to stop analyzing themselves. And I agree with that. I couldn't have said it better myself. Stop worrying about the worst case scenarios. Worry about the ifs, the buts, and the what ifs, and whatnots. And just get to it. Just do it. Just do it. Like Shia LaBeouf says, Just do it! Achieve your dreams. You want to win the Stanley Cup. So if you really want to, then just do it. Do it! Play hockey. Play the sport that you love with your heart and soul and play your heart out there. Just worry about that. Don't worry about the past. That's all in the past. I know it's kind of hard to, you know, it's stuck in your head still and, you know, you think back around it. Maybe use it as motivation, but just ignore all the negativity from the past and just think about the now and just move on from there. Just don't worry, okay? If you really want to win a Stanley Cup, don't complain because enough complaining was talked about, you know, in excuses last year. That's why I don't feel like they didn't deserve to win the Stanley Cup last year. And it's going to make me feel that way this year too. If they keep complaining or they find an excuse, especially if they lose in the first round again. Care about hockey. Just be excited that hockey is going to potentially come back. So thank you guys for all for watching this video. I just had to get my thoughts out. I was, you know, really in my feels, just in my emotions with all of this, with the Lightning complaining about the format. I wanted to express my feelings out there. So thank you very much for watching. Comment below some of your suggestions or thoughts about this video. Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, and definitely check out some of the recent videos John has made. Despite the quarantine and you know the pause, putting out banner after banner video of hockey content, great hockey content, and will continue to do so almost every single day. 
you know, from now and if the playoffs return, there's a lot of great hockey content moving forward to look forward to. And John is putting out his blood, sweat, and tears every day for every video he makes. So thank you guys for all for watching. This is Austin from Hot Take Hockey signing off saying peace out, and I hope you guys all have a great night.